Hello, folks. <clears throat> Good morning. To state the obvious over the weekend, the devastating storms in the South. I spoke with, for a couple hours with leaders yesterday affected by the hurricane, and uh, Governor Kemp of Georgia, Governor Cooper of North Carolina, county officials in the Big Bend region of Florida, and other leaders in South Carolina and Tennessee about the broad and devastating impacts of Hurricane Helene. It's not just a catastrophic storm, it's a historic, history-making storm. The entire Southeast and Appalachia. Damage from the hurricane stretches across at least 10 states. Winds over 120 miles an hour in some places. Storm surges up to 15 feet and record flooding. Communities are devastated. Loved ones waiting, not sure if their loved ones are okay and they can't contact them because there's no cell phone connections. Many more folks displaced with no idea when they'll be able to be returned to their home, if ever, if there's a home to return to. So we're keeping, our, we're keeping them all in our prayers and all the lives lost. And <clears throat> those particularly unaccounted for, there's nothing like wondering, is my husband, wife, son, daughter, mother, father alive? And many more who remain without electricity, water, food, and communications. And his homes and businesses have washed away in an instant. I want them to know we're not leaving until the job is done. I also want you to know I'm committed to traveling to the impacted areas as soon as possible, but I've been told that it would be disruptive if I did it right now. We will not do that at the risk of diverting or delaying any, any of the response assets needed to deal with this crisis. My first responsibility is to get all the help needed to those impacted areas. And I expect to be there. <coughs> Excuse me, I have cold. I expect to be there later this week. I and my team are in constant contact with the governors, mayors, and local leaders. The head of FEMA, Deanne Griswell, is on the ground now in North, North Carolina. She's going to stay in Asheville and Appalachia region for the foreseeable future. There's been reports of over 100 dead and consequence of this storm, and there are reports of up 600, mil 600 people unaccounted for because they can't be contacted. God willing, they're alive, but there is no way to contact them again because of the lack of cell phone coverage. I've directed my team to provide every, every available resource as fast as possible to your communities to rescue, recover, and to begin rebuilding. In addition to FEMA, it includes the Federal Communications Commission to help establish communications capability, the National Guard, the Army Corps of Engineers and the Department of Defense are going to provide all the resources at its disposal to rescue and assist in clearing debris and delivering life-saving supplies. So far, <clears throat> that's over 3,600 personnel deployed. That number is growing by the day. I quickly approve requests from governors of Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, and <clears throat> Virginia and Alabama for an emergency declaration. And I approved additional requests for the governors of North Carolina, Florida, South Carolina, and for a disaster declaration to pay for, to pay for debris removal, provide financial assistance directly, directly to survivors. FEMA and the Small Business Administration are there to help the residents whose homes and business were literally destroyed, washed away, or blown away. And the federal search and rescue teams have been working side by side with state and local officials and partners in very treacherous conditions to find those who are missing. And they'll not rest until everyone's accounted for. I want to thank all, all the first responders and everyone who's been working around the clock. One of the brave teams that's volunteered to be there is from San Diego County Fire Department, set to travel all the way from California to North Carolina to help. But on their way, they were in a in a terrible car accident in Louisiana. We pray for their full recovery, but it was a bad accident. We know there's more to do, and we'll continue to surge resources, <coughs> including food, water, communications, and life-saving equipment. We'll be there, as I said before, and I mean it, as long as it takes to finish this job. Let me close with this. As President, I've seen firsthand the devastating toll that disasters like this take on families and communities. I've been on the ground in many disasters areas since I've been president. <coughs> Excuse me, and I've heard dozens of stories from survivors about how it feels to be left with nothing, not even knowing where or when to get back on track. I'm here to tell every single survivor in these impacted areas that we will be there with you as long as it takes, 
the sake of yourselves, excuse me, <coughs> and your families, I urge everyone, everyone returning to their communities and home, to listen to the local officials and follow all safety instructions. Take this seriously. Please be safe. Your nation has your back, and the Biden-Harris administration will be there until the job is done. God bless you all, and I'm thinking of those who are still wondering where your loved ones are. Thank you. Will you need to ask uh, <coughs> a supplemental to help the people in the Southeast, Mr. President? Say again? Will you need to ask Congress for a supplemental? That's my, my expectation, yes. Do you know roughly how much you're thinking? Not yet. Right? It's been this is a historic storm. It's devastating. They've never seen anything like this before. And some of them are back to back, three storms in a row. So it's really, really devastating. Would you have a start asking Congress to come back for a special session to ask a supplemental? That is something I may have to request, but no decision has been made yet. Do you have a sense of where you'll go when you are able to go, sir? Yes, I told the governor of, of uh, North Carolina I'd go down, and, I, and I'm, I expect to be down there by Wednesday or Thursday. It would be clear for me to go. You guys have traveled with me. You know, there's an entourage. It's, uh, uh, this can be disruptive. Is there a mistake for, for President Trump to be down there today in Georgia? Is that disruptive? I, I don't have any idea. On another issue uh, on the other side of the world, in the Middle East, uh, it's our understanding... I'm going to stick with this. What's that? I'm going to stick with this subject, but go ahead. I've, I've well, it's the fact Olympia. that Israel may be now launching a limited <clears throat> operation into Lebanon. Are you aware of that? Are you comfortable with their plan? I'm more aware than you might know, and I'm comfortable with them stopping. We should have a ceasefire now. Thank you. you. expect Iran to retaliate? On the hurricane, Mr. President, why weren't you and Vice President Harris here in Washington commanding this? This weekend? I was commanding. I was on the phone for at least two hours yesterday and the day before as well. I command. It's called a telephone. Is it, all my security. Is it not important for the country to see 